All right, welcome to episode 31 of the Road to SSL series. We're sitting at Grand Champion 2 Division 1 in 2v2, and I think we're about to rank up to... Uh, we actually... We did just rank up. <laughs> we're almost at 1600, though, so we're a little bit closer to SSL. Like I said, we probably won't reach it in this series before the season ends, but that just gives us more time to talk about how to rank up. In 3v3, we're sitting at Champ 2 Division 3, and uh, hopefully we'll get champion, at least Grand Champ by the end of this. Like I said, I've been doing these live, and I've been pre-recording these while I'm gone for my honeymoon. Uh, but before we get into the episodes, we have the meme of the day, and today we have Deathamir. I'm pretty proud of this one. All right, we have 2v2. We've got uh, a party of two with Colo Colo, and we got Wags on our team. So they are partied up, and oh, my teammate's not here. He's here now. Do you have it? Nice. Okay, we're good. I'll wait for the 50 50 here. Looks like Alfred might have possession. Wags could come up on this ball, though, and he gets a mid. That guy definitely should not let, let my teammate get full boost. I see this guy gonna maybe gonna challenge. I'm gonna roll it behind him, so it's awkward. And that's gonna be a goal. Yeah, pretty quick uh, turnaround there. I, I think that that would have not happened had my teammate not gotten that mid boost and been ready in mid. He would have had to recover. But unfortunately, the opponents let him get the full boost when they could have taken the ball back or just kept close with full boost, and my teammate has nothing. But we start with a pretty good lead. Let's go to the back corner here. It might be them to shoot first. I'm just gonna wait. It's a good pop. A little awkward position in net, but should have popped that. It's not the greatest touch for me because it does loop back into mid. I missed the mid boost. Good cut for my teammate. It's not on target yet. It's going to pop off the backboard. And they're both back now. This guy might turn. A little bit careful. You can see people are being more aggressive now. They are turning on balls more often. This guy might touch it. Or Wags just gets a free open net. I thought my teammate was actually uh, the other player. Not the best clear. You gotta be really careful clearing those when you're when you're last man. Uh, it's good to we call them an EU clear because back in the day people didn't clear these very well in NA. But the way to do that is to clear it off the the side of the ball rather than underneath the ball so it doesn't boom into the ceiling. I uh, I should have this ball first at least as with a pop. I have possession here. Staying close, just trying to be annoying. I have to let go of possession. We're gonna wait in mid with 40. And it's open. I can't really not score those because my teammate makes a really good pass and there's nobody really available. I'm not sure what happened. Zerto like left and then Alfred just like said peace and got the went for the mid boost. But someone definitely needs to cover that. And Zerto probably could have just stayed on the wall instead of trying to jump outwards. Should be Alfred to take this ball here. Hits it pretty far and Wags does get a good challenge. I'm gonna get beat here, so I'm I am last man for a second. I want to jump there because Alfred could come behind me and go for a challenge. Great shot from them, though. I think I could have played that a little differently. What I tried to do there was pop it to the backboard for Wags to challenge, but he went back to the backboard instead and then didn't want to challenge it off the backboard either, so he stayed in net. He probably could have made a clear there, and I probably could have popped that more towards our backboard rather than, than the direct corner. It's a really good challenge. He should get that corner boost. So I want to see what he does with the ball after that. Now they got bumped, so I have possession on this ball. Hit this bottom right, see if they save it. A little trigger happy for my my teammate, but just try to challenge. I missed the boost, but hit that too far, and so now I can cut it off. My focus here is to get the boost. I don't really care about what happens to the ball there. Early cutoff for my teammate does give them a chance, but they did hit it backwards. That's going to be another good chance again, too. My teammate's making great passes. This has been really easy to play with. He sometimes rushes a couple things, but otherwise, like, he's, he is getting good touches around them. And I find that the opponents are overcrowding in their corners, and our corners, even. I let him get the boost. I could have maybe just collected pads, too, but it doesn't hurt to get the back corner boost when my teammate has possession. Good try. That's a good pop. That's a great shot. Should be a save. My teammate also went for it, but I have space here. He also got the demo. I'm going to try and pass this to the side. That also works. That just in. That's not in. Teammate tried. I could have scored that, by the way, but I felt like we're playing pretty fast, and we're definitely getting good opportunities quite often. You're not going to score every single one. Yeah, this is the side. can be cut off. Not the best pass for me. It's not good to do those like side roll passes. It doesn't move too far across the net or the field. 
Stopped off the backboard. Good cut. My teammate should come back to try and cover me here. Waiting for this. So Zerto does go for this in the corner, but there's no real pressure here. Even these touches. Like, they're, they're making touches, but they're not really doing anything with the ball. You can see they're just booming it back and forth. There's not a lot going on. I'm just going to take this mid, actually, or just go for a demo or something. You got to make sure you have purpose with what, you, what you're doing with the ball. It doesn't always have to have purpose, but, like, making sure that you're just not smacking the ball around and not doing anything with it is good. Because, like, him hitting there, that double, is actually worse. It's worse for them to touch that ball to me. I'm waiting for Wags here. Decent try. Gonna wait in mid, see what happens with this ball. Zero should have this. So I'm just gonna wait for him to make a touch. Obviously, you don't wanna play too patiently. You wanna make sure you're like being active, staying on the ball and stuff. And as we get higher ranked, I'll show you that like I, I will start to play faster in certain positions. This is a great save from them. I'm trying to take control here when my teammate gets boost. Trying to get a 50 of some sort. I can take this back. Let's see if he stays with this. Well, not the best touch. I couldn't really follow that. I thought he was going to hit that to the corner, but that's all good. I'll just stay safe in the corner here. See if Wags can get up there. Nice job. He might get the read on the corner here. I'm not going to take it from him in case he does have it. Leave the mid boost for him. Good challenge. Probably going to turn here. They're very low time, so he's going to turn on that ball. And usually, probably a team, a player wouldn't, wouldn't turn on that ball. Close. Oh, uh, they're just too flat-footed. Yeah, he could have just challenged there. I think there's like a lot of defensive errors where they're they're sitting a little bit too patiently. They need to get active and go towards the ball. All right, we got Wags on the other team this time with Junior, and we got Meta Speedy. Let's see how fast he truly is. All right, looks like my teammate's not getting that corner. He could have gotten it before them, but should be all right. Good try. I'm 30 boost. I don't want them to have a free shot here. None of them jumped, but they could have jumped for that. And I don't really want to give them a free goal. That is being might miss that. Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough read. I don't fully blame him for that one. He, although he should be backboard right here. He could have went up on the backboard. You see how he waits on the floor? But at that position when he's up the backboard, the fastest way to get in the air is act or up up in like verticality is the wall. It's just faster than uh, flying. He can wait on this. There's nobody on this ball. I think he's playing patient. Great job. That's a great follow-up from Wags. I should have this, though. Good clear on the field. It might be open. Yeah, big miss on the corner. It seems like corner reads today are not, not it for people. A cheat here. See what happens. Might, might be able to get a 50 here. Is going to be hard for me. Yeah, it's going to be a shot. I, I didn't have enough boost to really cover that. It looked like he was maybe going to get a 50, but I should have maybe went backboard a little bit sooner, like seeing that he's not going to catch it. He went a little too wide on the clear. Should be speedy to get the boost and the ball here. Go for a shot. Great bump. That's a really smart idea. To go for the bump while I have an open shot. I like that my teammate trusted me enough to go for that. That was a great chance on the, on the flip reset, too. He almost had it. All right. I got to be a little careful here. He could shoot this. Yeah, I was going to say that's that's a tough tough position. I was going to like try and fake it to see if he'd go for the mid boost, but he just went for the ball instead. He says okay, but that's not, not the easiest position for me to deal with because his kickoff was kind of poor and it went back over me. Uh, meanwhile, like you got to be like a little bit careful with... How are you 50? You got to stay above the ball a little bit. All right, should be him. Should be. Should be him now. Beautiful. Yeah, it's not really a great pass. I shouldn't go for those. I have not a lot of boost to work with here. It's free ball for me. 
pop it up, see what they did with this. Should be a clear from uh, from Junior. Looking for boost. Good demo from them. Close on the shot. I'll stay close here. It's good. Good touch from Wags, but should be my teammate up. Hope I can stay forward here. Pop it up. Junior's gonna be really awkward with this touch. Just wait for it. Great save. Ooh! I'm gonna say great save. I got a chance to shoot it off the sidewall because the way that popped up, but they ended up on rolling. All right, we'll take it. All right, they're panicking, but there's nobody near the ball. And they do end up like not 50 50 with my teammate. He, he definitely should have stayed behind the ball right here, and there's no need to really panic. You stay behind it. Yeah, that pop was a little too high. One of these days, I'm going to just like start okaying everybody when they okay me like that. I'm just gonna, like, every time they, they say anything, I'm just going to feed the toxicity right back. You know, I shouldn't do that. That's, that's, that's a bad idea. <laughs> oh. Nice. It's a bit of bump them here. He's going to leave. Totally fine. He's going to get a 50-50. He should have the mid boost. He's going to turn immediately. Not the best first touch, but he does get a double. He's going to keep it in. Good 50. Hopefully my teammate can try to go for this. He's be patient though. Yeah, it's fine. Pop it over. I got I got three boosts in my name. I'm hoping that just baits the touch over. Junior's gonna have control on this ball, so I'm just gonna wait for my teammate to bait. There we go. I can take this back corner. It's fine. Wags will probably get a 50 of some sort. There it is. I don't. I want to be careful with this touch because um, the way that I'm touching that ball, um, I don't want to just give it right back to the player who's waiting on midfield. Now, my teammate should know that I was zero boost. This is a little bit dangerous to work with. Yeah. Like, he put me in a pretty tough spot there because he went for the demo on, on somebody when I'm not even available to play with him. So he's just putting me in a 1v1. And I obviously could have challenged that better. I'm just like kind of, you know, you don't want to put yourself in those positions for your teammate. You want to make sure you don't overcommit in spots that don't, you don't need to. You want to make sure when you're baiting the player on the other team that your teammate is available for that, that bait. There's a demo. The biggest difference with when I'm demoing and when my teammate has been demoing is that the ball is free afterwards for him. Not the best shot, but we do have pressure here after this. If we can get this guy to chase us. I'm just going to let him touch it see if my teammate can go for it. Good 50. I'm going to be on the right side. Maybe try to demo this guy if he gets a clear. And it should be in. Beautiful. It was a good first touch. He had, he had a lot of time there to control it, but he could have also boomed it towards net because the guy was not in net ready for that shot. I was hoping we got speedy on the other team this time. It would have been fun. We got another 2v2 game. We got Skyman, Kiro, and we're against our... our I got Victor on my team. Should we get, oh, he's got the boost. My teammate should be able to turn on this, though. He grabs his corner. This guy should be pretty low, too. He just used a lot of boost. Just put it towards target. Should be a save. And there's the finish. The poor clear from this guy in net is going to give my, my teammate a chance. He could have controlled it. He had so much time on the boost. He had full boost. Could have popped the ball, kept it controlled, caught it or something. Not the best chance from uh, them. Let's see if we can play this on Kiro here. And 
there's a goal again. Great disruption from Victor. I have to do too much there. I'm just trying to like keep the ball close because Kiro's not gonna really want to gonna challenge me uh, when I'm like controlled on the ball. As long as I just keep stoic, keep with the ball with my teammate, uh, get some sort of interruption. We should be all right. And it's gonna be another goal. Wow. These games have been a kind of a, like a, I don't know, a, not a blowout, but like we're, we're not, I feel, I don't feel like we're doing that much. The last game was pretty competitive, but that's going to be in, I think. Yeah, great play. It's been kind of um, just like random goals have gone in. Like these, these just happen. I feel like, I, d I don't feel like there's some obviously unforced errors happening, but it's just like uh, a luck of the draw on whether this happens. You know what I'm talking about? Like, what is that? How does that go over his head like that? I think it's just a matter of how you're 50 50 ing the, the, the kickoff, too. He went a little bit too wide and didn't stay centered with the ball. You gotta make sure when you go for a 50 50, you go like slightly middle like that. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll speed flip towards the ball and then they'll be underneath the ball. I'll show you what I mean on the next kickoff. It's a good challenge from Skyman. I'm trying to hit this forward. See if my teammate can follow it. Beautiful. You should try to get in the way in a second. There it is. Now Victor is pretty low, but he should be able to turn on this. I like the patient play. I like that they waited for the boost in the corner. I'm trying to touch this. That's totally fine. Pop is over him. Staying close. Oh my god, my teammate took it. <laughs> it's a goal. I did not expect that at all. I'm kind of sitting patiently with the ball. Sometimes that works. That's a good. That's actually a really good play. That would probably work at a higher level. It's a good challenge from Skyman, but we should be in a good position here. I heard Victor up, so I'm just gonna wait. Save my boost. I might touch this. Yeah. I probably should have taken that from my teammate, but. I don't need to touch this right now because my teammate's not there, but I'm just trying to stall for him to get some boost. Cut off the position. Really good rotation. Should be Victor here. That's a great play. That's a really good play. He like got a wave dash to pop the ball and then went for the shot. See this? Yep. That's textbook. I'm gonna go back corner here, wait for Victor. Oh my goodness. Got a decent clear. Should be Victor to follow it. Now, right here, I'm alone for a while. So what I wanna do is just stall for 50 50s. Now, my teammate had got mid boost. And I'm back. I can play time here. Just staying close to the ball. Just trying to do something to disrupt them while my teammate is able to move around the field. Looks like he wants that. Oh, he missed it as well. It's a good play from them. It was a good bump from him to push me into the corner. And then uh, my teammate didn't get the best touch. Uh, yes. Yeah, so this is. Yeah, that touch was a little too heavy. Hit this to the corner. Hopefully safe enough that we can get back. Great demo, though. Great goal. Probably going to take that a little more uh, slowly in the corner there. Or just let it bounce. Good 50. I'm going to wait back here. It's a, good, it's a good pinch, but he's low boost. There's nothing he can really do with his ball. Even here, I know he's going to get beat. I can play a touch to try and stall for him to get back. Maybe hit this back if he's got mid boosts. He went a little wider than I expected him to. This should be okay. Yeah, I that. Uh, that's going to be a goal. That was a great shot from them. And it was a good disruption. Um, I feel like that one was a good play from them. And I don't want to just like save everything as an SSL player. I don't know. I don't know what to do in those situations. Like That was a great play from them. 
And it might be hard to react to. Lapogo. Oh. Okay. That was it. He got like a flip reset thing and, and, and kind of like... Yeah, he didn't even use the wave dash. He just went for the shot afterwards. It looked like Kiro was going to have it, but he just missed slightly. All right, Skyman should have a play here. That's a really good fast shot. See, if I went for the corner boost, it would have been open. You have to be really careful not to just leave your net open in those spots. Kickoffs are the most vulnerable part of the game. It's the most random. Like You don't really know what everyone's going to be doing off the kickoff. Some people like to stick around. Some people like to leave. I like to mix it up. I wouldn't say there's always like a clear reason why I stay with the ball sometimes and sometimes I leave back for boost. Because sometimes overcommitting can be bad. If you're zero boost, well, overcommitting can be bad a lot of the times, but um, when you're going for that boost, um, you can also like undercommit if in a way, like where you're like away from the ball or the play. It pops off the backboard. I don't think there's any, gonna be anything stressful here happening. This guy's waiting back. I have the ball possession now. He's trying to fake it. He's trying to bait me to do something. He took that a little too hard. That was a good play to control it down the field, but he hit the ball a little too hard um, to be able to get a, a direction on goal. Show my teammate to shoot this. They do forfeit. And I feel like it's a pretty good game. I feel like there's some better opportunities by the blue team later on in the, in the game, but first half was just sort of a blowout. My team has six goals. All right, we got Skyman again, the other team with 400 H with Esoteric Gamer. Let's see how it goes. It's a good 50. He should be able to get the mid boost too. Oh, that's a good bump. I should have space in this ball. It's a good bump though as well. Skyman clears it, but it should be Esoteric to keep this ball around. I'm going to grab the mid or the back corner behind him. If you can get a 50 here, it'd be really good. I can stay on this ball here, pop off the backboard. Wow. The decent first touch, 400H has it though. I think he might've gotten the flip reset, but it was too far from himself to actually follow it. This guy does the ball, good patience. You see, I'm waiting for him to let go of possession. At some point, though, you do need to challenge once in a while because otherwise they're just going to have free reign of the ball if they keep it close. So you got to keep an eye on like when a good time to challenge is and like when it's advantageous to do so. A good first touch. Good try. A little scary here. He was going to be very low boost. So I'm just going to try and move back. Skyman clears it. Should be my teammate to get this. Bit of a heavy touch. Hit this forward. Should be okay. I'll get the boost here. As long as you're slightly ahead of them when you're racing to the boost, should be okay. Okay, I hit this to the left side. There's so much space here. My teammate didn't go though. I've got space in this wall. I don't really want to make a pass here because it's actually. Probably going to bait my teammate into a bad spot. Good challenge. Waiting for my teammate to go. A good try. Not the best touch from them, so it actually gives me a chance to go for an aerial and pop it down the field. Good touch from Skyman. I'm going to wait on the right. Good pressure. Good try on the bump. Good save. Trying to go for a bumper, disrupt this guy. I'm gonna try and keep him off the ball as much as possible. Good challenges, good demo though too. This flick is gonna be a little bit scary because this guy might be here. And go for this. I wanna hit this forward so they have to panic a little bit. Go for a backboard. They do bump each other, but they still stay with it either way. Go for a bump here, get the back corner or mid. Skyman will not score this as long as I stay patient. 
I also want to take this boost so he doesn't have anything in the corner here. Okay. I was bumping his, my teammate, so I went back for the ball. Good patience. That's a good touch. Still just waiting for my opportunity. I'm not really wanting to get in here. Unless I see that I have an advantage. Orange team's been playing pretty solid defense. It's been a lot more solid. It's crazy how different like it feels in contrast each game. Teammate does rotate pretty wide. This could be a good chance for them. Oh, what a save. I have time for a flick here. I'm just gonna flick it early over that guy. This guy should clear it though. That was a really good chance. We just missed off the mark. When you know you have that chance, just like really like go into your training habits of just making sure you shoot on target. I know, I know that sounds silly because like obviously shoot on target, but I'm just saying like if you know you have time, like just nothing else should be in your mind other than the open shot towards the net. Like just focus on one thing. Don't panic about whether or not they're going to make it to the ball or not. I know it sounds really simple, but if you just think about just the ball and the goal, not like, oh, how fast do I have to shoot this? Even if you shoot it on target and um, and they uh, they save it, it's probably going to be an awkward save if you make it good enough. You know what I'm saying? So as long as you focus on just the shot itself and nothing else, you'll you'll find that you'll shoot open nets more often. I was going to flick from them. They had a good chance. You should make something happen here, though, in 50 seconds. Put my teammate to get this boost. Let's see if I can cheat up with him. Maybe a bump? Oh, good try. I don't want to take all this boost if my teammate's there. I think he's not. Yeah, he's there. It's a good pop. Oh, the second touch. I guess I should have followed it. I mean, they definitely should cut that off, though. He's saying take the shot. He, he should he should def definitely be making a follow up there if he can because I can't follow that reliably. That's that's a touch that they're gonna definitely follow, or they should have at least been there. He left the game because of that. That's actually insane. I can't believe it. We had time to bring this back too. This is uh this is uh this is Grand Champ guys. Just are all things. Is what it is. He makes a bad touch and then I, I he's expecting me to follow it, even though it makes no sense for me to follow that ball because it makes a it makes it very easy for them to catch the ball and make a challenge. But he's he's complaining about me. It makes sense. Make it make sense! GG. I hope I get him on the other team. That'd be that would be amazing. Although he did he did abandon, so I guess I can't find him. I right, got a uh, man and we're, we're against a team of two. What? What is happening? What? What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> okay, this is now officially the most cursed road to SSL episode so far. What is happening? I don't understand. Don't FF if we, don't FF we score? Does he is he saying don't score we FF? Are these are you are you guys deranking? If they forfeit at 330 or I'm What are they talking about? I'm scoring. Okay. Alright. Rocket League, get your mans. <laughs> what just happened? Report. Match throwing or griefing. Submit. Match throwing. Submit. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. That was uh that was cursed. Bye bye. All right, this is going to be a pretty easy one. We've got death here, and we've got my face. Albeit, it's a little bit old at this point. I think all I'm going to do is just place it in here, and then we'll do some shading and stuff, but let's let's get it sorted. I want to grab the hood, actually, before I do that. Oh, I do, I do want to remove, like, the middle part, though. Let's put this here and erase this section. It just removes all of it. Okay, I'm just going to do it by hand. <laughs> Hello. Okay, hold up. This is not exactly how I want it to look. My forehead is massive. <laughs> Okay, let's also remove all of the neck that's just like showing up behind here. Okay, I wish this, the the scythe was a little bit l like, I want this to be, oh, that's cursed. I want this to be bigger, but unfortunately like his scythe will be out of the photo. I don't know if it really matters if it's like out of the image a little bit. I think that's pretty good. 
like that. So I think now what I want to do is make a copy here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to blend it. <laughs> is that good? That's pretty good. I think I'm happy with it. That was an easy one. Boom. <laughs>